Now, the Ginger's been slaying lawns for about 20 years now, and I've got some exciting news for you guys. I'm creating a space called the Lawn Masters Academy to help you at home be able to slay that lawn. The Lawn Masters Academy is designed to put a method to the madness of diagnosing your lawn. Whether you're a beginner lawn care person or an expert, there's something for you. I'm hoping to have the Academy up and launched in the next 30 days. If you want to get on the wait list, go to lawnmastersacademy.com and put in your email address. That was a brief recap if you're just tuning in. I decided to kill out my lawn that was only a year and a half old. In the last few videos, I show you the process of killing my lawn, scalping it down, scarifying it, all in the name of comparing three different varieties of grass. If you're interested in seeing the full process, these videos are linked in the upper right hand corner of this video. Now the next step in the process is going to be putting down a selective pre-emergent on top of the soil. Now I'm choosing to use a product called Tenacity. I had really good luck with it in the past. Now the idea behind this is, is the selective pre-emergent is going to disallow new weed seed germination from occurring. It's going to help combat about 90% of any weeds or miscellaneous items besides grass from popping up. Now you gotta be careful with this. The reason why I did two non-selective or glyphosate slash Roundup treatments was to kill off all the less desirable weeds that have already pre-germinated, meaning they have already popped up to say hello. Now, items that have yet to pop up that have already germinated, they're still gonna be popping up. Now, I've had a pretty good clean slate. I don't anticipate having too much of a weed problem, but we can expect some here and there. But the Tenacity is a fantastic product. It's going to eliminate a 90% of the new weeds from germination and while allowing all this grass seed to pop up. Now, when using products like Tenacity, very important to use the label, very important to use your personal protective equipment. You notice I had a wardrobe change. I'm using a long sleeve sweater. I'm using closed toe shoes and gloves and also eye protection. For those of you who have been following the series, remember this is my second Tenacity treatment. The first one went down two weeks ago. Now I do this for a couple of reasons. Number one, Tenacity lasts about three weeks at most. Since I'm commonly performing two non-selective herbicides to kill out the grass over the last two weeks, there's always a possibility that more weed seeds can or will germinate during that two week period from the time I'm killing the grass to the time that I'm dropping the seed down. Second, by the time the two weeks are up, I can do another application that helps extend the control for another three weeks and also puts me at the higher end of the label on the pre-emergent side. This gives me a total of six weeks of pre-emergent. Now Tenacity is a great option for seeding and for post-emergent weed control, but it's not a long-standing pre-emergent and I would never use it as just a standalone pre-emergent. Now this schedule has worked fantastic for me in the past. One thing to note, this product is not intended for use on Bermuda, bent grass, or zoysia. If you're the type of person that stresses over calibrating a backpack sprayer and getting that solution on the lawn, the good news is you can buy Scott's Turf Builder and skip this whole process and buy the granular to put it out on your lawn. Now you can find this product at your local Home Depot or Lowe's or Amazon for about the same price and it makes it for an easy solution. The benefit to using the granular is it already comes with the starter fertilizer. Now I'm sure you're all going bananas trying to figure out, hey, what did you choose? Well. Here's the thing, product number one from Berenbrug who sponsored this video, they purchased all the seed. They sent me a product that is an elite product that they have been blending. I've been asking for it for years. I want something that's creeping and I want it to be elite. I want it the top of the top. And guess what? They came out with it, but here's the kicker. It doesn't even come out for a year and a half. So you guys can watch my channel, see how well it does. We'll compare it to everything else and see how it goes. So what is it? The best way I can describe this is Baron Brug's RPR came together with Jacqueline's CSI spreading ryegrass and had a baby. These two blends for the past decade have been fighting over who has the best regenerating slash spreading ryegrass on the market. So when they finalized the merger, they went hard at work trying to provide the best variety to turn into the new RPR. Yes, that's right. This is the new updated RPR that's coming out next year. 
It's gonna be incredible. I'm really excited about it. Now the other brand, this is gonna shock you, but we ended up buying the Rhinor brand. The Rhinor Lawn Care Elite Perennial Ryegrass Blend with OptiRoot. Now this is promising fast germination, rapid tillering, and spreading growth habits. It's supposed to be less susceptible to leaf spot disease, which is super common in my region, and better heat and drought tolerance for improved summer performance, and offers blade rigidity that allows for a better mow. Now, from my understanding, Ryan Norris Seed is actually just a, an elite brand. It should be really nice. It was pricey, just like the rest of them. Um, but it is a normal clumping perennial ryegrass. Now the CSI spreading has the regenerating perennial ryegrass in it with elite qualities, meaning healthy grass technology, uh, low tendency for thatch, color dark. So it's gonna be really interesting to see all of these head to head. Tune in next time guys as we drop the seed and go over my tips and tricks for healthy germination. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down in the comments down below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Until next time guys, the Pest and Lawn Ginger, we're slaying lawns.